some of the type of problems that you'll see on maybe an upcoming test. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, so uh, you might have some vocabulary words in here. So uh, we're going to pick from this box over here. So let's do one at a time. So decide uh, to decide where to place the first digit in a quotient, we can estimate or use, um, uh, we'd use place value on this. So we'll, we have examples of this in, in this lesson here. So by using uh, blank, we subtract multiples of the divisor from the dividend uh, until the remain, uh, remaining number is less than the multiple. Okay, well that is uh, the partial quotients one, and we have an example of that also. Actually, we have a couple of examples. Here's one right here, you guys. We did this one earlier. We divided um, 775 divided by 23, and then we started doing multiples of 23. Well, tw 10 times 23 is 230 and then we subtracted that and then we can take another 230 of that so that was another 10 times 23 and it gave us uh, 315 well we can fit another 230 in that and it gave us uh, uh, 10 times 23 again so so 10 times 23 10 times 23 10 times 23 and then finally the biggest group of 23's was 3 times 23 and it gave us that so uh, our final answer was 7 um, I'm sorry 33 with a remainder of 6 so we added up all these all these partial quotients. So that's what this one says right here. So by using partial quotients, we subtract multiples of the divisor from that dividend until the remaining number is less than the multiple. All right, and so this one must be the compatible numbers. We can use compatible numbers to estimate quotients uh, because they are easy to compute uh, with mentally. So like, for example, um, uh, if we did uh, 3,342 divided by 47, this is close to 50. So think of multiples of, um, uh, of 33, you know, that's close to a multiple of 5, like 35 is. So 3,500 is close to 3,342. So we can divide 35 divided by 5 and then add this one leftover 0 right here. So uh, 35 divided by 5 is 7. So add the 0 is 70 or seven tens and that tells us where where to start dividing on our division okay alright so use compatible numbers just to estimate uh, the quotient so we have three problems here let's do the first one here so the first one uh, depends on you know what kind of mood you're in and what kind of mood maybe your teachers in when we're looking at six right here uh, multiples of, of uh, six are 48 uh, 54 is a multiple of 6, and those are the ones that are around 52 right here. So 522, we can uh, estimate 480 or 540, and divide those by 6 to get 80 or 90. Or if we wanted to round that to 5 and that to 500, it could be 100. So somewhere between 80 and 100, I would guess, on that one right there. Okay, how about this one here? 1,200. 85 divided by 32. Well, let's round 32 to 30. And then so um, this gets close to 1,200. And 112 is a multiple of 3 four times. And so so these ones uh, cancel each other. And you got to include this extra uh, 0 right here. Remember, multiplication is opposite of division. If we multiplied th uh, 30 times 40, it'd be 3 times 4 with this 0 and this 0, or, or 1,200. Okay, so probably 40-ish, plus or minus a little bit. Okay, this uh, number uh, is close to 90, so think of multiples of 9 that uh, this number is close to, like 63. So 6,300 divided by 90 would be 70 on that. Okay, all right, so let's divide and check our answers on these. All right, we're going to do these one at a time here. So here, let's uh, first estimate, you guys, and, and it depends on where you want to round this to. So if we're dividing by 2, round that up to 600 right there. So 600 divided by 2 is, is 300. Okay, now it's kind of close to 300, but at least we know we're going to start in the hundreds spot. So we'll start right here with this 5 right here. 2 goes into 5 2 times, and 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, and then we subtract. And then uh, 5 minus 4 is 1. And then we slide that 5 down. And then we do 2 goes into 15 7 times. And it gets us 14. And then we subtract. And then we get a 1. And we slide down the next 4. And again, 2 goes into uh, 14 seven, 7 more times. And we get 14. And we get a remainder of 0. Okay, so the answer is 277. All right, now we've got to check our answer. So to check, we go ahead and multiply our quotient times our divisor, and it should give us our dividend right here. 
So that's what we're doing over here. So 2 times 7 is 14 and carry the 1. Okay, and then we'll go um, uh, 2 times 7 again is 14. Then we add that 1 and get 15. Okay, and then carry the 1 again. And then 2 times 2 is 4 and then add that uh, 1. So we get uh, 554, which is which was our dividend right there. All right, so this one, I did it all in one step right here just to save some slides because that took a lot of slides right there. So I'll talk us through it here. So 8 goes into 68 8 times. 8 times 8 is 64, so 68 minus 64 is 4. Then we slid the, um, the 0 down, okay? And then 8 goes into 40 5 times, and we get 40, so our answer is 85 up there. And then over here we just checked. We just multiplied 85 times 8, and it gave us our dividend, okay? Here's a remainder one right here. Same stuff here, you guys. We just do 46 divided by 5 is 9. And we get 45, and bring the 1 down when we subtract, and slide that 2 down. 5 goes into 12. Uh, two times, okay, and then we subtract five times two is ten, and then we subtract, we get this remainder of two. So to check, we multiply this 92 times five, and it gets us 460, and then we add the remainder, and it gives us our dividend when we do that, okay? So that's how you check. All right, so let's divide and, and check our answer with this one here, okay? So so to estimate, you guys, if we rounded uh, 17 to 20 and did 5,000 divided by 20 is 250, or even 6,000 divided by 20 is 300. So somewhere around um, 250 to 300, might even be a little bit over 300 right here. So uh, at least we know we're dividing in the 100 spot right here, okay? So I'm going to divide into this spot right here, okay? So how many times does 17 go into 52? Well, I tried it twice, you guys, and when I did 17 times 2, we get 34. And then if I put 34 in there, then it would be this 52 minus 34 and it gets us 18. Well, 18 is bigger than our divisor, so we can fit another multiple of 17 in there. So I did 17 times 3 and gave us 51 over here. So 52 minus 51 is 1. I'm going to slide the 1 down right here. Okay, and then so how many times does 17 go into 11? You got to write that in there, you guys. It's it's zero right there, and we knew it was going to we're going it's going to be 300. It's going to have probably a zero in there, so zero. So 17 times 0 is 0, and then so we get 11 right there, and then we're going to slide down that other 1 right there. Okay, and then uh, I did multiples of 17 over here. Here's 17 times 5 is 85, 17 times 6 is 102, 17 times 7 is 119. So I want the 102 so it'll fit underneath that one right there. So we're going to put a 6 up here. Okay, so it's going to be 306, and then our remainder is going to be 8 when we subtract right there. Okay. And then there we are to check. So we multiply 306 times 17. Actually, 306 uh, O's a letter. I've, I've been having a little, I don't know, I, I don't like saying 306. I know a lot of people do. Uh, but it's O's a letter. It's 306. Anyways, 306. How's that? Times 17. Uh, I know, that's weird. And then when I multiply, you get that, and then you add that remainder. Don't forget to add the remainder right there, you guys. You get 5,210, which is our divisor right there, okay? All right, let's try a few little word problems, and we'll wrap it up, you guys. Stacy bought 156 ounces of juice, and she wants to divide the amount equally into 24 portions. How many ounces of juice will be in each portion? Okay, so what we're going to do is divide 156 divided by 24. Well, let's estimate. Let's round 24 to 25, and think of it as like a quarter, you guys. How many quarters give us a dollar fifty? Six quarters give us a dollar fifty. Okay, so it's going to be an answer somewhere around six. Well, that's around six. So is that. So is that. But that's not. So I know it's not going to be that answer right there. All right. So let's go ahead and divide, you guys. So twenty-four goes into uh, one hundred fifty-six. So here it is. Twenty-four times six over here is one hundred forty-four. And when we subtract, we get a remainder of twelve. Okay, so it's 6 and 12 24 which is 12 24 is a half, so it's 6 and a half, which is choice B. Okay, David's dog weighs 12 times as much as his cat. The dog and cat weigh 104 pounds altogether. How much does the dog weigh? Okay, so we did a bar graph um, uh, before. Remember that, where we did, uh, here's the cat, we made a box for the cat, and since the dog is 12 times as that, we made 12 of these boxes right here, and then, so these 12, and then this uh, one box right here uh, adds up to 104 pounds. So that is 13 boxes divided by 104. Okay, so 
I didn't know what, how many times it went in there, so here's a, a partial quotient that we did right here. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. I'm just re-showing re you how to do partial quotient. So we start taking multiples of 13 away from 104. So 13 times 1 is right here. And again, when we subtract, we get 91. 104 minus 13 is 91. 13 times 1 again. So when we subtract, we get 78. Here's 13 times 1. Subtract is 65. Here's 13 times 1. Subtract is 52. Here's another 13 times 1. So we just keep going down right here. Finally, we got to 26. I knew that was 13 times 2. So I can stop right there. And then we just add up all of these partial quotients. This is how many times 13 went in there right there. So it's going to add up to 8 right there. Okay. So uh, now let's put 8s in all those boxes and let's answer the question right here. It says, how, how uh, much does the dog weigh? So it's going to be uh, 12 times 8. 12 times 8 is 96 right there. Okay. All right, let's try one more. Librarian needs to stack 300 books. Each shelf holds 24 books. How many shelves will it take to stack all the books? Okay. All right, so we're going to be doing 24 uh, dividing into 300 right here, okay? So we can do place value right here. Um, 24 goes into 30 right here once, so we'll put a 1 above the tens right here. 1 times 24 is 24, so 30 minus 24 is 6. Okay, slide the 0 down. Okay, and then 24 goes into 60, I think just 2 times. 24 times 2 is 48. Okay, so when we subtract, we get 12. So we get 12 and 12 24ths right there. Okay, so, uh, or 12 with the remainder of 12. Now she has all these books and she's going to stack them all. So she's going to need 12 uh, shelves plus another shelf for the remainder of 12. So she's going to have a, an extra shelf that's half full with 12 books. She needs that, that 13th shelf to get all the remainders on there. Okay. All right, you guys. Hey, good luck on your test. I'd love to hear from you, uh, if you uh, how you did on the test. Take care.